You know, one of our greatest reflections as we're finishing up on this huge pour tonight is being able to sit back and take in all of the hard work and the beauty in front of us. We both are just feeling so uh, grateful and impressed and proud of ourselves for tackling this new feat and being able to visually see that success in front of us is so rewarding. channel and today's studio vlog we are going to be pouring candles specifically we have a huge pour ahead of us we're going to be pouring 73 candles today this is going to be covering five of our candle scents and we're so excited to share this process with you all part of this vlog we're going to be showing you how we use our cotton wicks and our wood wicks as well as showing you all how we pour each of the different fragrances so you definitely don't want to miss this one and please, before we get started, make sure you like this video if you enjoy this content. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new so that you don't miss out on any future content. So without any further ado, let's get into it. to do is add all of the wicks that we're going to be using into the vessels first that way we know we have exactly the right amount of wicks out and we can see which ones are finished a lot easier so I just finished doing all the cotton wicks here and now we're moving into the wood wicks then these are the so cute these are the ones for our two ounce crackling wood wicks and then now uh, we keep all of our wicks organized in drawers just so it's really easy to uh, do this process. So right here I have the uh, wicks that we've chosen for our 9 ounce vessels and then we just pop them in. Now there's a difference between the cotton wicks and the wood wicks which you all will see. For the wood wicks we also use these metal wick bars to hold them in place as well as the wick sticker. And for our cotton wicks, they come pre-tabbed, meaning that they have the metal piece already attached. So we do have one extra step that we have to do with the uh, wood wicks that we don't have to do with the cotton wicks, if that makes sense. That does make sense. Also, I need to get this one. This is a lot of candles. Yeah, this is Excited a lot for of this pour. I know. Um, what are you um, most excited about? This pour is following up uh, a very busy market that we had last time. It was like our first outdoor market in Boston. Mm -hmm. um, so we're actually going to be. It was very validating in terms of like, okay, we actually, you know, we can be very successful at the market mm -hmm. if we want to. Yep. Yep. And the key here is if we have enough inventory, so our customers when they come into our booth, you know. They can pick whatever they, can pick whatever they want. They want. Whatever. And also a big learning going off of that is that batching is our friend. Batching, yes. Historically we have always just made like our candles kind of as kind of as they go. Mm -hmm. Which has worked really well for us. And now we're especially this summer we're gonna be doing some weekends we're gonna be doing two markets in one weekend. Yep. So we have to be really strategic for the first time as a business about how we actually go about how we produce our candles or how did you start with the molds how many did you originally have like how has that process for you evolved in terms of so, the quantity when, when i started out um started out with i'd say it was three nine ounce molds six two ounce molds and two uh 18 ounce molds mm -hmm. so it was quite a difficult way to batch, batch yeah. um, vessels and that created a huge bottleneck in terms of the whole inventory Operation, or yeah. operations of the business because if you don't have enough materials to help you scale your production mm -hmm. 
you know, that's, you know, those are the problems you're going to have where you don't yeah. have enough inventory leading up to markets. What? Or a know, product drop or something like or that. Or a product drop or even launching a new product. So All right, so we are now completely finished with wicking all of our vessels. So we're moving into preparing the wax. We use a virgin coconut soy wax for all of our candles, as you can see here. And this step is pretty simple. We got this new tool for cutting our wax. We used to use a butter knife, fun fact, and that was a little bit- That was not good at all. A little bit tedious. <laughs> so now we have this new tool where we can easily slice out these nice big chunks of the wax. And then all we have to do is walk it over to our digifoil where we add it in and so that it can start melting. Sweet. What do you like about the digital the most? What I love about the digital the most is that we can track the temperature here. Mm -hmm. So one of the most important aspects of candle making is that sensitivity to temperature. That's the science piece. And this this device actually keeps our temperature regulated throughout the process, which we love and that's probably my favorite. What about you? My favorite part is you can melt a lot of Oh, yeah. wax you know at the same time so this thing gives us a pretty big size in terms of yes. you know the amount of wax that we can melt but you know absolutely at one time. here's an arm for reference how much wax that's, <laughs> yeah that's a big <laughs> digital wax. okay what are we doing now all right so now we are ready the wax is completely melted and we're ready to measure our fragrance oil and start pouring candles so Right now I have our pouring pitcher and I have some fragrance oil here. We are going to start off with our Abundant Valley candle, which is a pink Himalayan sea salt and orchid scent. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and measure over this scale, the fragrance oil. And my goal is actually 6.25 and I'm pretty close to that. So what I'm going to do is actually just keep it at that and I'll make enough wax to match that perfectly. So Perfect. crushed it there. Great. So um, can you tell me a little bit about the, fragrance, the amount of fragrance you, you use? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So for our candles, we use a 10% fragrance load. So each of our candles has a 10% fragrance load which is the maximum fragrance load that our fragrances can use. So we want to pack these full of scent. So that's actually what we do. Um, sometimes candles will have a 6% fragrance load, which is on the lower end, and we choose to do a 10% fragrance load. Exactly, so. we want our customers to get the best uh, bang for that for that money, right? Exactly. That is very true because nothing is worse than when you buy a new candle and you can't smell it when you're burning it. It's very bit disappointing. So exactly. So now we're gonna go ahead and start getting some wax. So basically, this um, people has an awesome little slit here. You see, and we measure every single thing as part of this process. You will notice that it comes out in a really beautiful tree. There we go. All right, so now that What's next? I've got the wax completely measured here, what we do is we take a silicone stirring stick. For the next two minutes, I'm going to be blending the fragrance oil into the wax. All right. Okay, so the wax is blended up. Now I'm gonna be pulling out a piston funnel. This is what we use to pour our vessel, or pour our candles very precisely into our vessels. What I'm gonna be doing now is siphoning off enough wax to fill this up that I'm com enough that I'm comfortable with to pour with because it does get a little bit heavy and we're gonna start jumping into the pour. So for this round, as you all know, we have a lot of candles to pour. For this round, my intention was to pour three 18 ounce candles with potentially a little bit of leftovers that we can use for another candle. So let's go ahead and get started.
right and there you have it ladies and gentlemen we just finished pouring 73 candles in one day it took us about seven hours to do but you know we got it done uh, babe, what do you have to say about this experience? This has been a great experience for us. We have learned so much in this time. As you mentioned, it took us a while to do this. Um, we've never poured this many candles ever before. And now we have a few new ideas on how to make this process even more efficient because our goal is to keep growing and keep expanding. So this is a great segue for us as we continue to scale. Honestly, I feel like we, we crushed it though. It was fun. Definitely. I mean, there's a lot of lessons learned here for us. You know, excited to continue to bring you guys these vlogs. Again, don't forget, you know, to click that like button and the subscribe to our channel to continue yeah. getting all this content that we keep creating for you. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Lights, camera, action! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so...